Hi everyone, in this tutorial, we are going to integrate cost data generated by AWS data exports by integrating it with Amazon QuickSight's Q's intuitive visualization. We will also create a topic from the exported dashboard uh, to enable Amazon Q's advanced question processing capabilities. And if you want to explore further uh, to look for the generative AI capabilities integrated with QuickSight, do check out our blog post link below. So with AWS data export, you can create the customized exports for your cost and management data uh, through the cost and usage report integration. So let's just go ahead and get started. So from your, yeah, so first you will have to log into your console home. And once in the console home, you will have to go and look for the billing and cost management uh, service. So select the service from the uh, drop down and then uh, from the left hand side menu options, you will see data export as an option. Click on the data exports and then create a data export. So it will present you with three options. One is a standard data export, which is your current report. The second one is cost and usage dashboard powered by QuickSight. This is the option that we are going to be exploring today. So let's uh, get started with that. Select that as an option. Provide your exporter a name. So I'm calling it Kerr QuickSight Export this time. And then in the second setting, it is going to ask you for the QuickSight dashboard settings. So here you are going to provide the details around your QuickSight, uh, QuickSight account. So I've already selected uh, the QuickSight account that I'm going to be using for this demo. Uh, the only thing that you will have to specify is, is going to be the QuickSight username. So I, I can now show you how to retrieve that. So from your console, again, look for QuickSight as a service. And then just open it in the new tab. So once in your QuickSight dashboard page, um go to the uh, the profile menu at the top right corner and then in there you will see the username and account name just uh, click on the username to expand it further and whatever you see as the username is something that you need to provide in your billing and cost management console so in here you can provide the username and password uh, the, just the username for now. And then once you provide the username, uh, just make sure that you're running the QuickSight in the region where you're storing your QuickSight dashboards as well. Uh, for the rest of the pieces, you can keep the data table content settings and data export delivery options uh, as default, and we will move to data export storage settings. In here, it will ask you to configure S3 buckets. Now this S3 bucket is configured to store uh, the data set of your current reporting data, which will be used by QuickSight um, on, a, on a regular basis to update your dashboards. So we will hit on config, uh, configure, and then from configuration, just provide um, an intuitive name to your bucket. So in this case, I'm going to call it um, S3 cur export bucket. Um, again, make sure that the region you're selecting is the region where you are creating your QuickSight account. Uh, so in this case, I'm going to be falling back it to um, US East Northern Virginia region. By default, it adds a bucket policy to your bucket. So just keep this as is so that your QuickSight is able to access your S3 bucket in a secured manner. And once all the options are selected, hit create bucket. So when you do that, the bucket already starts reflecting in your S3 bucket option. Now in the S3 path prefix, um, just put a prefix of your choice. I'm putting it as the cur report over here. Uh, then we will keep the service access uh, role as a new service role. So we are not changing this option. And uh, tags are optional, but you can. it's highly recommended that you add tags. And then we will just hit on create. So this might take a while to create uh, create this data set in the S3 and then uh, generate a dashboard in the QuickSight. So you can check the status of it from the status bar that is shown next to your data exports and dashboards. So I'm going to be opening this. 
so that we can just monitor the progress. Eventually, you'll just have to refresh your browser page to see you know, how much it has been progressed. So now if you see the state has been changed to healthy. So that means now we can go to our quick side dashboards and look up for the look up to see if our dashboard has been created. So I am going to be taking you back to the quick site analysis, the same page where we were to copy our um, username and account name. So this is my quick site page. So whenever you're going to log into your quick site, this is how it's going to look like. You need to go to the dashboard page. And on the dashboard page, you will, you will see the curl quick site export that we had created as a part of billing and cost management data export. So now this has been created. The second thing that we need to do in order to be using the Amazon Q generative AI capabilities with your dashboard that you've created for the interactive Q&A, you will have to create a topic out of it. So in my case, uh, it's easier. I've already had the admin pro role, which is a requirement to use the Amazon Q generative AI capabilities within QuickSight. But some of you might not be able to see this as an option. So in order to fix that, you will have to purchase the uh, the uh, QuickSight Pro plan that supports the Amazon Q functionalities. So the way to do is to do it that you have to go to your uh, profile or your settings page and then select Manage QuickSight. Once you are on the Manage QuickSight, it will present you with certain options. The fourth option is Manage Pricing. So once you click on that option, for me, it says Amazon Q in QuickSight has been active or enabled. So, uh, but for some of you, it might not be the case. So in order to fix that, you will have to add uh, the pro user into your account. So the way to do that is go back to the, on the same page, go to manage users. And you have two options here. You can either convert your existing uh, admin role or the existing role that you're using to the admin pro permissions or create a new user through via inviting user. So the user can be an IM user, which is already present in your account, or can be, um, you know, a, a standalone user who has an email address with, within your organization. And then you just add the username of your choice and the email address, and then send an invitation to that user. Once the user accepts the invitation, he can be added over here. And then while specifying the role, you have to make sure that you're specifying the admin pro role for, the, for that user. Uh, and in order to convert the existing role to admin pro, I am going to be dropping a link uh, which can walk you through the simple command that you can run using AWS Cloud Shell to make it happen. So once you have all of this in place, you can go back to your quick site um, and then we can move to the topics. So when we go to the topic, we are going to create a new topic. Here, I'm going to be um, inputting the name of my topic. So this one I'm going to call cost and usage topic. It's mandatory to provide the description. So I'm going to call it cost and usage um, report data set. So once I add this as a description, at the bottom, uh, this is very important. You have to check this box to of use new generative AI, generative Q&A experience. This is what is going to enable you to interact with your data um, um, on an impromptu basis. So once you select that, you hit continue. When you when you do, when you just do continue, you will see the Cur Quick Site export available as a data set the one that we created a few seconds ago. So just select this Q, uh, Kerr quick site export and then hit create. So when we hit that button, it will just start creating that cost and usage uh, topic for you. So it will take some time because the way quick site Q uh, operates is it's going to go through the existing set of your data and then um, index that data according to be able to provide the generative AI experience. So once QuickSight is able to create the topic and load data for you, you will see the uh, you you will be able to see uh, a new topic created, which is the cost and usage analysis. So once I click on that, you will see that there's a there's a intuitive prompt uh, up that appear at the top. This is where you can start exploring the uh, your data set using the generative AI capability via Amazon Q. So when you select that. 
or when you click on that button or the prompt you will see you will see a pop up that says ask a question about your cost and usage analysis so you can either type in your own question or you can select from this list of suggested questions as shown down here so if i say show me the spend by product to the cost and usage analysis will start generating the response for you so this is how uh, you can ask questions and then get the responses back to you um, just by asking the question in the natural language processing. Um, also, so uh, if, if at all, uh, in my case, the data has been refreshed uh, a long time ago, but if you're not seeing any data in your uh, queue, uh, queue topic, then all you have to do is go back and check if your data has been refreshed correctly or not. So the way to do that is go back to the home page of QuickSight and then go to the data sets. Within the data sets, just select the data export that you had created and check for the refresh status. It should say that the status completed with some number of rows uh, imported. So for me, it shows as 100% success. But if this is not the case for you, uh, you will have to refresh your data manually or uh, put up a schedule for the data. So if you want to start using queue immediately, just click on refresh data now. Or you can also add a schedule to refresh your data periodically that can be daily or weekly or monthly. So uh, that this is one of the debugging. Uh, this is one of the ways in, in which you can troubleshoot your uh, your your queue topic. Uh, that's it for this tutorial. Thank you so much.